Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. We are still on the expedition with the goal to find a Mesa biome or to be more specific we are on the way back home because we successfully found a Mesa biome and um, yeah now it's it's uh, just uh, the long way back home because it took us a long time to get to the place where we found uh, the Mesa biome. Actually, we found it as we already started to walk back home because, yeah, I found a mineshaft and I thought, hey, that's cool, I got some rails. So it's about time to walk back home because Ooh, skeleton. Uh, where? There. There's a skeleton. All right. Let's. After being attacked by this guy, let's let's try to. Ow! Take this guy out and get some fresh arrows. Thank you very much, Mr. Skeleton Guy. Yeah. So um, I was I was lucky on uh, the way back home, and uh, well, I found it right in the episode where I decided, okay, now it's it's time to to walk back home. So this was cool. This was really amazing. I am a little bit surprised that I haven't found multiple Mesa biomes on the way back home because this is really what I expected that as soon as I start back home I will encounter plenty of those biomes but um, apparently that's not so much of the case so that, that's alright and um, yeah so May 2nd May 2nd 2018 this means that yesterday um, uh, Tuesday Tuesday was May 1st. May 1st is a bank holiday in uh, Germany and this day often is used for some um, hiking trips. Well, not, not only hiking trips, but some, well, alcohol infused hiking trips more or less. So it's really a tradition to yeah, come together as a group and to just spend the day outdoors, do maybe some, some barbecue, do some hiking, have some snacks and you know, just just enjoy the, the day. That's what we did. So a few colleagues, well it were quite a lot of colleagues of mine gathered and we did a nice trip along the banks of the river, the the mine. And yeah, was was nice, was really really a relaxing day. At first I was a little bit concerned about the weather because uh, they at some point predicted some rain then they said okay it's it will be cloudy the whole day and temperatures will be around 9 centigrade so that's not too cold that's that's quite nice but on the other hand when you want to eat some a few things outdoors and um, yeah it's, it's not so much of a good thing for for everyone when the weather is not that warm well when it's too warm it's also bad but um, yeah at first I, I thought okay I hope I hope the weather will improve and it did for yesterday at first I predicted maybe 16 centigrade in the late afternoon but I think it was at least I guess it was warmer so this was nice. This was, this was really nice and we had so much food. On uh, Monday I spent, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes or so. It was quite a long time with a colleague in a supermarket because we wanted to bring some, some snacks and some other things together to, to this event and so yeah, th this this was really a, at first a nice preparation. Then we gathered or we met up Tuesday morning in order to prepare the snacks. And yeah, then then there was this hiking trip. It was also interesting because uh, one of my colleagues has an almost two year old son, and I mean this little guy of course can't can't walk that long and um, so he was sitting in a carry 
little toddler carry thing like like a like a backpack i don't know how exactly this the thing is called I, i'm quite sure it has a specific name but i i don't know so many things about little humans so <laughs> i don't know how this is uh, this piece of equipment exactly is called but yeah um he was carried around all the time and i think this this must be an interesting training for my colleague because i think the the little guy already weights 12 kilograms or so and carrying this, this little child all the time around is i guess uh, a nice a nice training so this was cool and it was also nice to to play with this little little guy with a year with a little little toddler and um yeah just just to do some some cool things together so th this was really it was really an awesome day also it was quite interesting because we encountered well i, I think they haven't really realized this but we encountered some of the students of the that are enrolled in our programs and yeah it's interesting to to see them when they when they are are in their natural environment or so i don't know how how to to come up with a good or better metaphor but yeah it's it's interesting to just see what they are doing and um so yeah it was was cool Um, yeah, the Formula One race. Formula One race was also nice. It was a little bit unfortunate because, on the one hand, sure it's nice that that Lewis Hamilton has won mm. the race because it makes things a little bit more interesting in the in the entire season. That Sebastian Vettel isn't running away with the points or so. So. Oh, snap <laughs> this this is good this is really good on the other hand it was a little bit unfortunate because he basically just won because of the uh, the safety curse and um some well not not the, the most ideal strategy of a ferrari so yeah i mean it's it's okay it, it was just the the way how he won was a little bit unfortunate also. Um, Bottas was in the lead a couple laps before the end of the race and he drove over a few few parts, uh, some, some debris and uh, destroyed his, I think, rear right tire or so. So in the end, yeah, he was out. He was no longer <laughs> leading the race and Lewis Hamilton just yeah got got the victory for free and I mean of course you you had to have the race you had to be consistent you had to be fast and so he to some degree deserved it but on the other hand I think it's all the time a little bit sad when you when other people are doing a good job but then due to the circumstances of that that other cars crashed and there's a safety car and in the end yeah i mean it's it's part of the it's part of the game so i don't really have a, a good argument why i should say that it's a little bit sad because in the end it's it's part of the game on the other hand yeah it's still sad when you when you just see it from a personal point of view or so that you had really a, a great race you haven't done so many mistakes and in the end you're just forced because of those those incidents so th this was a little bit sad but oh well still still it was a super entertaining race it was a super close race i'm not quite sure what red bull did uh, did because um yeah i mean when both drivers have a crash it's not not good i mean when when they crash into each other that that's that's bad that's that's really bad it's not a, a good thing so yeah i'm i'm excited if we hear anything from their discussions of the or from the debriefing if there are any measurements or so because that that's that's really a thing you shouldn't do i mean 
you should avoid crashes at all costs and you should especially avoid crashes with your you know with your um, team teammate because that's that's bad so yeah th this was also a thing where it, it would be interesting to to find out what, what they did in the in uh, the debriefing but i don't think that this is really communicated to outstanders and to the press but uh, yeah I, I might have to check the the news and see if there there are some uh, some further information about uh, this uh, this incident oh man oh man so yeah race race was really entertaining so i'm i'm already looking forward to the next race has anything else happened um well it's time to go to bed so let's let's throw down the good old bed and uh, sleep during the night um i don't think so that that something else has happened i i can't remember something important i'm i'm still happy about the about yesterday i mean this this was really a cure day having fun with with friends being outdoors just just relaxing i personally i found in the end we we should have just stopped at the the river banks once more and sit there and just sit there but um yeah in the end it, it was really a great event so i i really enjoyed it and i'm super happy about it today i will have the the next seminar session yesterday of course no seminar took place because i mean bank holiday so so no lecture this this was quite relaxing the 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 main problem is that today's session is quite hard yeah I, I well not not really hard but probably hard to understand for the pedagogy students because i have to present the learning content of usability user-centered design and some design guidelines so in the end it's 90 minutes full of information which never is really good because it's almost like a lecture so that's that's all the time bad but on the other hand i heard you know, i heard that i already condensed this the those information in a good way so it's it's really easy to understand so it's it's good how i did this and what that that i only took the essence out of the entire usability knowledge part but uh, still it's i think it will be once again quite difficult to convey all those information because yeah i mean probably it will be me who is talking all of the time so that's that's all the time a little bit unfortunate and sure there there are so many great bad usability examples but to really present them and to give the students a chance to try out what is wrong what is right what is good design what is bad design is is not that easy of course i will ask them if they can come up with a with a good idea but so far the pedagogy students aren't that active doing those discussions and they often have at first a hard time to really understand those i don't want to call them technical terms but those terms that require thinking about technical devices and other information so we will see um i think it can be good it can be really good but it can be also quite difficult so yeah as i said i will see i will see what comes out of this in our meeting room we do have a playstation and recently a colleague of mine it's it's a colleague with the almost two-year-old son installed god of war on this playstation and yeah it's 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 a nice thing 
after lunch break or so to to sit together for a couple of mi for a few minutes and to just play the game and or watch others play the game however however i personally find it quite difficult to to play the game not because of the the reaction time and taking out those uh, those nasty enemies it's more the problem that I'm not used to control my my view, my, my perspective, my gaze with a thumbstick. I'm used to do this with keyboard and mouse, so I'm just used to do it with a mouse and I feel that mouse is super precise. I exactly know what I need to do in order to look at a specific point, whereas I'm not used to do this with the thumbstick of the PlayStation controller. And yeah, this already resulted in a lot of deaths on my side because, well, I I all the time was looking to the wrong direction and it also shows how, yeah, playing games still involves some physical skills. I mean, you have to have this uh, muscle memory where you really practice and learn how you can control the game, how you can control your avatar by using those devices like the the mouse and keyboard or the PlayStation controller. This is this is really cool and this is really a, a great observation and a fun observation when you think about it. Okay, I I really can improve myself by doing things more often. I mean that's that's the the essence of acquiring a new skill. You at first learn how the, the skill has to be performed, then you start to practice it, you slowly start to achieve some kind of automatization and then you continue on and while you continue on you start to master that very skill and that's of course the same thing with, with gaming and with using the controllers and in my case I just more or less started doing this so it's quite funny but um, yeah it's it's a cool game it's it's a nice game I'm a little bit sad that it's only available on PlayStation because I think story-wise and even from the from the environment and the general setting and theme of the game I would maybe enjoy it it's a little bit too much on the on the action side so it, it involves too much um, button smashing and monster smashing but on the other hand that that's also cool it's a little bit uh, yeah a break from from all the normal things I'm, I'm usually playing so it's not so much about thinking it's just about okay let's Let's just follow your hate. Let's just destroy things with hate, which is also nice because, or which is also funny because um, sometimes you have some kind of health flower or so, and instead of just slowly picking it or doing something in a in a normal way, this guy just smashes everything. So. He can just do things with hate or so, which, which, on my, I, I personally think it's it's really a fun thing. But um, yeah, th this is also a thing going on right now, and this pretty much sums it up. This pretty much sums up what what has happened since since last time. Unfortunately, I haven't received any new questions, so that's that's a little bit of a problem because. There's, there are no new things to discuss, there are no new things to, to talk about. I, well, there, there's maybe a thing. I currently rediscovered, I, I don't know why, why I totally forgot about it, or well, I, I, I haven't really internalized this, I guess, that with Amazon Prime, you also have access to their movies and videos which is really cool and so I found some some interesting movies I, I like to watch and some interesting um, series I also like to watch so that, that's pretty cool and 
that's also a nice way to get access to to those movies in in the non adapter version because this is really a problem well I, well it's not really it's, yes to some degree it's a problem huh was was there some kind of lag or so what happened there this was no no i'm walking the wrong direction i need to walk this way um in Germany, all the TV shows and movies get adapted to German, which sure is is a nice, convenient thing. You don't have to to watch something in a different language. Right, awesome. But once you are good in understanding this particular language, which in most of the cases is English, you notice that, okay, Sure, they they try their very best to to get a good uh, synchronization, but it, it's never perfect and it's never the same way as if you watch the the original movie. So this is really a thing I miss because when a movie airs on TV, it's usually dubbed and I'm disappointed. So yeah, that, that that's really a cute thing, and so I recently rediscovered Amazon Prime again with their video content, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of uh, videos and improving my my home cinema, well, it's not a home cinema, it's just improving the way how I can uh, watch movies and YouTube and series. I'm currently thinking about getting something like the Apple TV or Amazon uh, Fire, Fire Stick, is it called Amazon Fire Stick? I guess it's called Fire Stick or so. Um, yeah, some, something like this because I think this is, uh, well, it, it would be a nice thing. Currently, I'm just using my TV and my laptop and I connect both with an HDMD, HDMI ca cable which also works great, but when I don't have to, ooh, skeleton, when I don't have to do this all the time, or when when I have just a device connected to the TV, ooh, which this is bad, then um, I guess it's it's easier and it could be a little bit more convenient. So yeah, I have to investigate this and find out if, if I like to go for Apple TV or for the other thing. I mean, I'm using, unless, well, except for my gaming computer and recording computer, this looks interesting. I'm uh, just using, okay, I think I'm getting into some kind of bad situation for um, ending this episode zombie. Let's, let's get, let's get maybe over to this other island because I think we are safe over there. Um, yeah, except for my gaming computer, I'm using Apple devices. So I think Apple TV would be would be a, a logical step, but I'm not quite sure. As I said, I need to do some more some more investigations to to really find out what and research what what device sh shall I use. But yeah, this the answer to this question might be given in uh, the next episode when, when I did some more research. For now, we have reached the very end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining me next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abby. See you. <laughs>